everybody and welcome to another episode of Drive With The Guru. This is your host, Ricky Cadden, Symbian Guru, and today I'm trying something a little bit different. You'll notice that I'm off-centered, and I think you're going to see why in a little bit, so bear with me on that for right now. Um, I've got a lot of cool things to cover this show, so unfortunately I don't have anything new, um, but I do have the Nokia E66 still. Uh, the review for this should go live on mobileburn.com very, very soon, um, so definitely want to stay tuned for that. I've actually kind of grown to like it, but um, there's a few things that I want to point out that I'm not a real big fan of. The first of which is this new contacts application that Nokia's put in here. Um, it's very similar to the existing one that you see in other S60 devices, but the, um, and I'll put a little screenshot, this is why I have myself off-centered, is so you can see over here um, that the screenshot's a little bit weird in that the contacts, um, for applications such as today's announced uh, Nokia Chat, which uses the tab system in the Nokia phone book. Um, on the E66, this works a little bit weird. Instead of being able to just go side to side through the different tabs, um, it's actually a little drop down box that you have to select and you can drop down to pick out which ones that you're using. Um, so I personally found that really frustrating. It's very annoying to try to go through and it's definitely not as easy as it is in the default phone book. So, um, Kind of more on that, and the reason is though, is because when you have a contact selected, you can press to the right and get a easy little pop-up that asks if you want to um, send a voicemail or a email or whatever, however you want to contact that person. So it's kind of handy, but also not handy at the same time. It just depends on how you use your phone books. Um, first of all, the um, Nokia announced today that there, or yesterday, I don't remember which one that um, they've completed the acquisition of Navtech, um, which is a mapping company. And why that's important is because Nokia already owns Gate 5, and they've turned that into Nokia Maps, which is a um, on-device GPS system. Um, it gives you voice-guided, voice turn-by-turn directions. They've already announced that they're going to be bringing that to the S40 handsets um, later on this year, probably towards fourth quarter. And so I'm really excited to see um, how that's going to look. Next up, um, we haven't announced this on uh, Symbian Guru right yet because there's just been so much other stuff going on, but the Nokia software updater service has finally been re-released for Vista. So if you're on Vista, you've been wanting to get that new firmware on your phone, you can now do it. You just need to go to the page, um, the download page, get the new version of Nokia software updater, and that should allow you to update your firmware really smoothly using Vista on your computer. So um, if you're using a Mac, Mac or a Linux computer, you're still kind of out of luck um, until they either get a new version of uh, Nokia software updater or just go ahead and implement firmware over the air for every handset. So it's kind of a tie between which of those is going to happen first. I haven't heard either way on either one. So who knows? But in any case, find a buddy with a Windows machine, install a uh, Nokia software updater and just use that for the meantime. So that's definitely really cool. Nokia Chat is something that was announced today, and um, I've got it running on my N95, but um, I'm going to go ahead and do the screenshot again. So hopefully this works really well. If not, I'm going to look like a complete idiot. So um, you can see that right here you've got your buddy list, and it's got presence on there. So you can see if somebody's online, if they're not, if they're just signed in but away. Um, if they're on the phone even, it shows a little blue icon, so it's very handy to see what your friends are doing. Um, this also uses the Nokia account sign-in, which is a single sign-in. It's currently used by Files on Ovi, um, so you have one sign-on for all your Nokia stuff, all your Ovi and all that kind of stuff. Um, and that's going to be really cool later on. I know that um, I would assume that they're going to integrate that into Engage and Share on Ovi and all the other ones so that you have one sign-in and it gets you signed in everywhere that you need to be signed in at, um, which will be really cool. And now with the chat, um, it's going to make things very, very integrated and very, very interesting. So I'm really, really anxious to see how that plays out um, in the long run. So as you can see, you can open up a chat with somebody. You can talk to them. You can even send your current location to them. So if you and a buddy are in a, diff in a whole new city, say you're meeting them for lunch one day and you pick the coffee place, Rather than sit on the phone and say, okay, what street are you at now? Where are you at? Blah, blah, blah. You can just really easily say, hey, I'm sending you my GPS location. Send it over there. He can pull it up on the map, see where you're at, and navigate to it like that. So very, very handy, very cool. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing more integration like that soon. 
my biggest thing I would love to be able to from my contacts application click and see where that contact lives on a map um, the Palm Centro does that does this which I've uh, reviewed earlier um, in conjunction with Google Maps and I'd really 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 love to see that on Nokia Maps so hopefully that'll come very very soon um, and that's something that's really exciting as well so definitely stay tuned on Nokia chat I think that there's gonna be some cool stuff coming up on that soon um, also the Nokia Music PC client has been updated I've been playing with it for the last couple days first of all it installs on my system without any problems if you know all my history with this music PC client you know that that's a big thing so they're definitely making strides for installation um, it also has no problems for me with cata um, cataloging over 11,000 tracks so very cool with that it's a little sluggish still but I've noticed speed improvements just a little bit each release so um, the next big release supposed to come out at the end of July after the 28th sometime and that will also have the music store integration so if the Nokia music store is launched in your country uh, you'll be able to from within that application you'll be able to go straight into the Nokia music store um, and it'll be a seamless integration through there so I'm really looking forward to that I'm also looking forward to seeing hopefully more Nokia music store um, country launches around that time as well as you know in the United States we still don't have anything so hopefully they're really working on that to get us at least something we can use to experience it and really kind of show that they're still focused on the US because I'm not really convinced yet uh, so that's really about all the new stuff that's going on right now actually I had one more cool thing that I wanted to show you and this was released um, through symbionfreak.com just recently and this is an application called Waterbox. It's an accelerometer um, based application and so you need to have an accelerometer based phone such as the N95, N95 8 gig or the N82 and all it is is a kind of fun little um, water game. You can kind of see the water splashing around there on my phone and you can kind of shake it and it does its thing. It kind of splashes around um, there's really no point in this. It's kind of one of those just like hey, this is cool um, Kind of like the lightsaber. It's very neat, but there's really no actual use for it um, So but I thought it was neat anyways. I want to show it off. So this is it and um, That's water box so cool things uh, more really a proof of concept I suppose for future things if you have a use for this let me know um, and we'll see you know what comes of that so, but I thought it was kind of neat, thought you'd want to see it. Um, other than that, I have a surprise that I'm working on. I'm very excited about this. Um, based on the announcement the other day of Cruzius, which is an application put together by a couple of guys um, to help you use Python for S60 to develop applications for S60 phones. Uh, I've always been fascinated by at the idea of putting together my own application and so I've decided using Cruzius only as my only resource I'm gonna try this out um, for the last couple days I've been trying to figure out what kind of application I want to use and I finally figured it out I'm not gonna tell anybody it's a secret um, but I will be documenting the whole thing um, I right now I could not program myself out of a wet paper bag um, so if that's I, I want to see how easy it is for a complete um, new person to developing and programming that sort of thing um, I want to see what the what the abilities needed and uh, how hard it is to really do that so definitely be stay tuned for that um, like I said I'll cover it along the way so that you can kind of keep an idea of how I'm doing and how easy or difficult it may be um, so you definitely want to stay tuned for that um, the application I'm gonna develop is very very cool I think you'll like it a lot um, it's something that I've seen and need for repeatedly but it hopefully sounds very simple it may be more than I need to get myself into but we'll see who knows so that's it thanks again as always for tuning in to drive with the guru and we will see you next week